What's up guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. It is my one year review on my 2018 RWD Audi R8. And I've owned it for just over a year now. And I figured I'd give you guys an update on some of the pros and cons, some of the things I absolutely love about this car. And just a couple of the, the downsides as well, which honestly, there's not a whole lot of downsides that I've experienced owning this car for just over a year with about 7,000 miles on it. So a little bit of backstory about this specific car, how much I bought it for. I got it from a YouTuber. If you guys are in the car YouTube scene, Eddie X was his name. I shipped it in from around, I think the suburbs of like Illinois, Chicago area um, on an enclosed trailer. I believe that cost me alone was like 12 to $1,300. And if I remember correctly, I bought this 2018 Audi R8 rear wheel drive for $136,000 um, and then private party, no taxes involved because uh, in Arizona you don't have actually, if you buy it from a private party, you don't pay sales tax on the uh, seller buy of a purchase. And um, I put 7,000 miles on it since then. I had it with, I think I bought it with about 13,000. So overall, the only maintenance issues so far I've had on this car are the two oil changes I believe that's it. Um, a little bit of like the fluid top off and stuff like that. I did have one tire blowout, which was about five or six months ago. And that did cost me, I believe about $800 out the door. With the tow truck and everything, no maintenance issues, luckily. Um, very straightforward, oil changes were a few hundred dollars. I bought the car with a aftermarket exhaust, which I'll show you guys, or I'll give you guys a sound of that once we park somewhere. And then um, these really, really cool wheels as well, which to my understanding are quite expensive. So I feel like I got a fair deal um, on this car. I think it looks really cool. I'm gonna give you guys a full exterior tour as well. But let's jump into some of the, some of the positives on this car. So besides the look of it, this thing sounds absolutely incredible. I always have it in sport mode. I always do the paddle shifter just because that's the way I drive. I like to keep it in a little bit of a higher RPM. So I really can't talk much about um, the automatic driving. Obviously it shifts a lot sooner than what I would, but this thing sounds incredible. It looks incredible. I still get a ton of people asking me questions about it. And one of the reasons why I bought it was to kind of almost as a business move as well. It really opens up a lot of doors. Um, I haven't been posting as much social media content as I thought I would with the car, but I've honestly just been enjoying it nonetheless. With it being a 2018, it's a little bit outdated with um, some of the software and stuff, but it's still like really sleek, super simple. Um, you can show the steering wheel. This is, I love having the start stop here. It's really nice to be able to do everything. Paddle shifters feel really, really good. Doesn't feel like you're gonna break them. Um, I love the screen up here. You kind of have three different sections. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can kind of shift it around depending on how you want to drive. You can move the um, miles per hour down here or the, the gears down here and you have the miles per hour on the right. I like to drive it with front and center. Um, it also gives you power and torque, which I really don't know n enough about cars to really care about that. It also, when you're shifting, maybe we can show it to you um, once we get out, out of this red light. It gives you, I don't know if we'll be able to get it high enough, but when you get it up in the six, seven, 8,000 RPMs, it actually gives you an idea on when the shift. Uh, it gives you like a green, yellow, and then red if you're redlining it, which is really cool. So you can pay attention to that and shift it if you're really trying to go rather quickly, but we're just driving to the bank right now. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get up there. Um, I mean, the exhaust, the one thing is I can't really bring the sound down. So in the morning times, if I ever do drive it at like before 6 a.m., I do feel bad for the neighbors because it is very, very loud. We'll give you guys some exhaust sounds once we park as well. Um, where compared to my AMG GTS, the Mercedes Benz that I had before this car, I can adjust it the manifold. So if I wanted it to be a little bit quieter, I could. This is just one sound the entire time. And it does come to my understanding, the stock exhaust on here is a little bit quiet. So if you guys are interested in an actual purchasing an R8, um, I hear a lot of people do add an exhaust onto it just because it actually adds a lot more of a sportier sound to it. The drive on this thing is incredible. The only things that I personally did do it was lower it. I added springs and then I added a wing onto it as well, which I think ties the car together. So 
We're gonna go to the bank right now and I'll probably finish up the video giving you guys some sound clips and then show you guys the exterior of the vehicle. One more note before we get out and show you guys the exterior. The one downside to this car is the size of these cup holders. Uh, very few, unless you have like an actual soda can or an actual like 16 ounce water bottle. Most other, uh, I don't know, what do you want? Cups. Cups uh, struggle to fit in here. So if you have any, anything over like 16 ounces or if it's a little bit thicker, it's not gonna be able to fit and it tilts over. So there's been several times where I spilled most of the time it's water, which is fine, but it's just kind of very frustrating. They couldn't make these slightly, slightly bigger so it fits more universal cups. But yeah, let's, let's take a step outside. All right, so first part of the exterior tour. We'll give you guys the storage capacity here. This is all you get. Really doesn't fit a ton. I have the visor to block some of the sun. I have the wheel kit that's in here if you need to take on and off the wheels. And then I don't even know. I honestly haven't looked in here. The previous owner has a lot of stuff, like full Audi stuff. It looks like a car cover, so that's all that you can really fit in here. Uh, that's the only storage space. Even on the inside of the car, you have a little bit behind the seats. But if you want to fit more than a backpack and you have a passenger, it's going to be very difficult. So we'll bring it over to the wheels now. So like I said, um, the wheels and the exhaust were from the previous owner. And I don't even know what these are called, but I've gotten a lot of compliments on them and I love them. I also have the set, the set of stock wheels, which is really cool too. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, and then I lowered as well. So you guys can see kind of how low it is to the ground. Luckily, I haven't honestly scraped too much at all on this car uh, in and out of my driveway. No problems. There's been very few uh, parking lots or curbs, not curbs, speed bumps that I've gone over that's caused problems. We'll open up the back here as well. This I purchased, I got it half off because it had a small defect where the screw is so you can't even see it but the company offered me half off on this prep on this there's a cop back there uh, the company offered me 50 percent off so it was like 1200 bucks for this and then if you can see the exhaust through the grill right here super nice you might have to back up more if you can't see it but a lot of people think it's twin turbo for some reason because of that i guess that's pretty much everything i want to show you guys on this car needs a good washing but now we'll give you guys an exhaust sound and probably end the video. Overall, this car is awesome. Another thing that I wanted to make note of was the speaker system in here. It's incredible. It's out of all the cars I've owned, which is not a lot, the Tesla, the AMG, which uh, Mercedes is known for their speakers. I think the speakers in this car are much, much better. Uh, they also have speakers built into the back of the car seat or the back of the seat, so it sounds even better. Here we go. <laughs> 